Welcome back. So today, it's all about Kevin and Kayla's dirty little secret, which is really just a pasta recipe. Mmm, cheesy pasta, the ultimate comfort food. So Kevin McGarry and Kayla Wallace um, are a couple in real life, but both of them play characters on the Hallmark show, When Calls the Heart. Uh, Kayla is Fiona, and um, Kevin, of course, is the beloved Nathan. And he was in an interview, and Kayla popped in on the questions that was being asked. He was Carson was reading some fan questions, and it was like the second question that was asked of uh, Kevin was, what's a comfort food for him? And the first answer he had was sushi. And then he's like, I'm not sure if that's a comfort food. And Paul's like, of course, if it's comforting to you, it is. And he's like, I don't know. I think it should be something dirty. And then he looked over to the side, I guess, where Kayla was. And he's like, I know what. We've been making um, this big cheesy pasta. So he went on to explain it. And then it sort of is like their take of, and he didn't even know what this was, but of, of a cache, a caccio, a pepe. Anyway, <laughs> it's a pasta dish. So it's very simple and I'm just going to show you some things. I'll be quick and then I'll just walk you through it. So one of the first things is that he uses spaghetti. We're using fresh um, uh, linguine because my family likes that better. Um, I cannot have pasta because I have a gluten allergy and my sister doesn't eat it either. So what we did is we used, we roasted in our air fryer, you could do it in the microwave but I don't have a microwave, our um, spaghetti squash and it's lighter than the pasta. And again, when I walk you through this, I'll give you all of the uh, measurements and I'll put it in the description below. So if you have never tried spaghetti squash, it's a hard squash. It doesn't take long once you cut it up to a roast and then you pull it apart and it's like spaghetti. I also have some really good olive oil. I also have um, pecorino cheese that we're gonna grate on there. The star is the pepper, black pepper ground and really good regatta cheese. This is part skin but you can use full fat. Um, I am, there's some salt here too. They also add a dollop of butter and a little bit of lemon. And I will be adding that too as I cook. Now this is creamy and filling and I wanted a little bit of crunch on the top. So I have Parmigiano, uh, Parmesan crisps and I'm just gonna crumble a few of them on the top and this is going to be delicious. Okay, stay tuned. Between the pasta and the spaghetti squash, a pound was used. So you're going to put two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter into a pan and then heat it up and sprinkle it with a tablespoon of black pepper. And give it a good stir. You can hear it sizzle. You wanna infuse the flavor into the oil. Next, you're going to add about two cups of regatta cheese to the mixture and then give it a good stir and you can see the oil melt and meld with the uh, regatta cheese and the pepper and I forgot to also say there's a squeeze of lemon in there and give that a good stir and simmer it on low while the pasta is boiling and if it's too thick, you can add some of this pasta water to it to thin it out. Then once it's drained, you take the pasta and you put it in the directly in the pot and you stir it all up and it just all melds. And it's good to let it sit there too for a minute or two, just soak up all of the cheesy goodness. Mm -hmm. There you go slow motion here and then once it has um, melded all together or married you take it and put it on your plate or your platter however you want to do it and you are going to shred or grate pecorino cheese it looks so delicious oh my goodness so here we have um the traditional with linguine they use um kevin and Kayla used spaghetti, and this is ours with the spaghetti squash. 
And we didn't add any salt because we did salt the water for the pasta, but we didn't add any salt because there's so much salt like in these, not in the regatta, but in this cheese, but that's okay, you can. And so, a whole bunch of, oh my goodness, yummy, yummy, grated pecorino. And I'm gonna put it on top of here. And of course, if you wanna add more pepper, you can. I know it's getting everywhere, who cares? This is like delicious. Remember, it's a dirty little secret. <laughs> and then you can mix it back in. And then of course, you can add more pepper if you want. In the sauce, you could actually see the little flecks of pepper. And then we are going to add a little crunch, which was the Parmesan crisps. We just crushed them up. Oh, it's so pretty. I will show you up close. I made a mess oh my goodness so pretty and then I'm going to sample okay I can't wait to try it I need a drink first okay I'm leaving that for my family you'll see them taste test that but this is for me this is with the spaghetti squash say hmm it's really good well, there's a sweetness because of the spaghetti squash. Sorry, bad manners. There's definitely a creaminess with all of her glocked cheese. I don't really taste the lemon because it was just such a little bit in there. And my mother always called that brightness. And there is a brightness to it. And I love the little bit of crunch that we put on top. They don't do that. And I love how it's flecked with the black pepper. And every now and then you'll get a bite of it. And it's so delicious. So thank you, Kayla and Kevin for sharing your dirty little secret. Mmm, it's really good. So good, I'll get my family to try this next. All right, Lou, what do you think? Mm, let me taste it. Hot. I call mm. it Kevin and Kayla's dirty little secret. Why? Because that's what he called it. Oh, it's something, it should be something dirty. And then this, he came up with this as his comfort food. What do you think? Good? Really good. All right. Thumbs up, down. And I'm just kidding. I love it. Say thank you, Kevin and Kayla. Thank you, Kevin and Kayla. No, say it again. Thank you, Kevin and Kayla. Such manners. <laughs> How's it taste? Good. Is it creamy? You know who's who made this recipe up? Uh, Kevin McGarry, who is Nathan, who you love. The actor. It's crunchy. Oh, I put the crunchies on top. They don't call for that. Kevin and Kayla's dirty little secret cheesy pasta is easy and delicious. The recipe is also in the description, as well as a link to the interview where he talks about it. Try it, and thanks for stopping by.